Hi guys, my name is Ben. This is my BMW K100. As you can see, it's, it's mostly complete. I'm currently in the process of rebuilding it from its first iteration, which was a uh, cafe racer. Um, unfortunately, um, back in July of, I think it was 2018, I was out for a ride and the drive shaft just stripped all the teeth on the actual drive shaft itself and the bevel gear just destroyed. I was having a real hard time trying to find um, a replacement K100 drive shaft and bevel gear. And what kept coming up was K1100 paralever. And I thought that would be a better option to modernize the bike rather than just replace. So replace and upgrade. And then things turned into this. I saw people coming up with the suspension design. Um, Gustavo of Retro Rides. Um, there was a couple of other people coming up with this kind of um, different suspension design. And I always hated the back end of the frame on a, on a K100. And I started off by just trying to do um, something like, um, I think his name was Mike Flores, um, where he redid the back part of the frame and he had the, the, the frame rails coming straight out from under the tank all the way to the back end. And it looked a lot cleaner and a lot more sleek. Um, I tried that and I could not get the, the right lines. It just, it just didn't look right. Um, and then so I took the plunge and started mocking up this design. I started off 3D printing the suspension lever and it, it all worked out. So um, I progressed to having it laser cut, um, which is what you can see here. And throughout doing all the, uh, the measurements and the working out, I've actually managed to retain full suspension travel um, from the K1100 into what you see here. And yeah, it works works pretty bloody well. Um, I'm, I'm quite, quite happy with myself. Um, I've also just finished off uh, designing the, the rear sets. Um, they use a universal uh, five blade 99954 rear set, which can be picked up quite easy, um, along with the master cylinder. Um, so it, it works as, as you'd expect. Um, and then I just had to get the, uh, the rear plates cut out, uh, again, laser cut. Um, and yeah, work, work really well. Um, you can see as well, I've got, uh, 2000, uh, GSX-R 750 front forks. Um, I'm also got the Fireblade 929 front calipers. I still need to get some discs, but that can wait. There's no urgency on that. But this is really just a, a, an introduction into my bike um, and the process of putting it back on the road. Um, unfortunately, we're a little bit late to the game. Um, there's been there's been work, um, and it now sits as it is now. So that is my BMW K100. Unfortunately, due to the time we're in at the moment, um, there's the, the global pandemic, the coronavirus, um, all of the most of the, uh, the the paint shops and uh, powder coats are closed at the moment. So unfortunately, I'm kind of limited to how to progress on this. We're hoping for an update soon. Hopefully things will go back to normal and I can crack on with getting everything powder coated and getting it looking as it should. So I think we'll start with tearing it back down to just the engine um, and we'll see see where we go.
set it on. As you can see, pretty much everything was only hand tight. So it takes only a matter of minutes to strip it down. And I've done so so many times. You wouldn't believe how many times I've stripped this thing down. Well, that's where we're going to leave this part. So I think the first thing I'm going to do on this channel uh, to start off with uh, is a refresh of the water pump cover. Um, I've already done the water pump itself, um, changed all the, all the seals and everything. Um, but the water pump cover, when I got the bike, was in terrible condition. A lot of the bolts were rounded off, it was very corroded. Um, and unfortunately, during the, the process of removing it, it cracked and had to go in the bin. So I ordered a, a replacement second hand part, which subsequently wasn't in the best of condition. It was very pitted. You know, if you see where the, the water pump is on this bike, it's right down the bottom, right behind the front wheel. It takes a lot of abuse for its life. This thing's an 89, so yeah, seen a fair few things. It's very pitted. It just needs a really good going over. Um, I did sandblast it um, and then paint it, hoping that it might look half decent when it's finished, but it didn't. So I've got to strip it all back down and refinish it. Hopefully I can come up with something worthwhile. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Um, if you did like this uh, and you would like to see more, uh, please subscribe. Put a comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see. Um, tell me what you think. Um, give it a like if you liked it. Um, if you didn't like it, please tell me why. Um, I'll have to see you in the next one. Take care.